Hey, Stargazers, welcome back. My name is Nick. I'm a theaters manager at the Adler Planetarium, and you're watching Skywatch Weekly. Well, as you can tell, I'm getting in the Halloween spirit a little bit here. We've got an extra special spooky night coming up on Saturday as a full moon rises at sunset and the pumpkin-colored Mars shines brightly in the sky. With the full moon as well, there's something a little bit extra special about it. It is by some measures what's known as a blue moon. So what does that mean? How rare is it? And what can you expect to see? Let's take a look. We're going to start off looking east about two hours past sunset this Saturday, October 31st. Now, assuming the sky is clear, even from very light polluted skies like Chicago, you can expect to see quite a bit just with your naked eye. About a third of the way up in the sky is Mars, still very bright after its close approach earlier this month, and a beautiful view just with your eyes. If you haven't seen Mars yet this month, take a long look. The red planet won't look this good again for years. Also rising is an early part of the winter sky, the Pleiades star cluster, also known as the Seven Sisters. This cluster is visible with just your eyes from Chicago, but binoculars will give you a fantastic view from any darkness of sky. And below that, shining with a reddish orangish glow, is the eye of Taurus the Bull, the star Aldebaran. We'll be covering these early winter stars and constellations over the next month or so as they rise earlier and earlier, but this is a great time of the year to start to get a preview of what next season holds. So all of these objects nicely frame the beautiful full moon, rising at sunset and shining all night long on Saturday. But wait a minute. I thought this was a blue moon. Does that look blue to you? Here, let me fix that. There we go. But is that what you should expect to see on Saturday? Well, no. It's a funny thing about blue moons. They're not actually colored blue. In fact, there's no agreement on why this word got associated with this idea. The moon can appear to be bluish in color, especially when there's a lot of material in the atmosphere after a major volcanic eruption or a large forest fire. But in general, the moon just appears its normal, but beautiful, gray self. That's what will happen on Saturday night. You'll see a full moon rising in the east at sunset. So what is a blue moon if it doesn't look blue? The term blue moon has two astronomical definitions, and the more popular one applies to this week's moon. If two full moons occur in one calendar month, the second of the two is called a blue moon. You might recall we had mentioned the October 1st full moon in the video on September 30th. And for most of the world, the moment the moon is full this week will occur on October 31st, making it the second full moon in a calendar month, and therefore a blue moon by popular definition. The last time we had two full moons in a calendar month was in March of 2018, and the next time after Saturday will be in August of 2023. So why doesn't it happen more often? Well, our months are mostly 30 or 31 days. The average length of the lunar month here defined as the time from one new moon to the next, is 29 and a half days. So you have to have a full moon pretty close to the first of the calendar month in order to have a second full moon before the end. And in the case of February, it has fewer than 29 and a half days, so there will never be a blue moon by this definition in February. All is not lost for February, though. There's another older definition of blue moon, as defined by the Maine Farmer's Almanac in the 19th century, if a season contains four full moons, the third of the four is a blue moon. In this case, a season would need to have a full moon very close to the beginning in order to be able to fit four full moons in by the end. And as it happens, if you get a full moon close enough after the December solstice, the blue moon that winter will fall in February. The next seasonal blue moon by this original definition, will occur in August of next year. So this week's blue moon, while not technically a blue moon by the original definition, is a calendar blue moon and definitely worth looking for. So will the moon look different on Saturday? No, not really. But it's still worth looking for and thinking about these little oddities in our calendar system. And also getting out and looking up whenever you can, whatever the phase of the moon might be. 
To learn more about blue moons, check out a great post on Adler's Scope blog by Director of Public Observing Michelle Nichols. We've got a link for that in the description. Of course, there's plenty to see in the sky before and after Saturday night. In fact, tonight and tomorrow evening, the moon and Mars are hanging out. Tonight, the waxing gibbous moon is to the right of Mars, and tomorrow night the moon will have moved to the lower left of the red planet. And on Monday night, the moon will appear between the Pleiades and the bright star Aldebaran. Keep in mind, these movements look like the moon is jumping, but it's moving steadily from west to east as it orbits the Earth. From one night to the next, though, it makes quite a bit of progress. Also, don't forget about Jupiter and Saturn still shining nice and bright off to the south-southwest as night sets in, both still quite bright and worth keeping track of over the next couple of months as they appear closer and closer together. Well, that's what we have for you this week. Thanks, as always, for watching. To keep up to date on all the goings-on in the sky, make sure you click that subscribe button. Also, follow the Adler Planetarium on social media. Happy moon watching, and we'll see you next week.